Well, hello everybody and welcome back to this episode of G-Bears Off-Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And uh, here we are staring at my new raised garden box. Yeah, that's the one I promised I was going to put in. And I, I actually made it uh, two by six because I had the room for it. I just had to move a couple of the buckets from over here and then I got that in. Uh, the sad part of it all is that uh, I built this to get my pumpkin plants in that I had sprouted in my uh, technique of uh, putting them in the plastic uh, Ziploc bags on the counter. Well, they were in great shape, ready to be uh, transplanted, but I let them sit in there too long. So I did move them into here, but I don't think they're going to make it. So I'm going to have to go real fast and start a new batch of seeds. I'm only going to put two in here. Um, and those are the uh, small sweet pumpkins for uh, baking pumpkin pie. And uh, they grow pretty quickly. They're, they're early um, type pumpkin, but uh, normally I like to get those in uh, no later than April 1st. And we're already way past that. We're in May here. So I'm a month behind on them. And uh, that's what happens when you got other things to do. Anyway, I, I, I mixed it with uh, native soil and uh, I wanted to mention that the, uh, the Kellogg's garden soil that I um, rave so much about, uh, when I got to Home Depot today, it, it was, this is the time that it's on sale. It's two bags for $14. That's a great deal for three cubic feet um, compressed. And um, now you're looking at here, these are two by 12s um, surrounding this. And uh, I got two bags in here mixed with uh, natural soil. Now three cubic feet would be just about, if I went right there, come across like that, go back over to there. Okay, so just this little section right here would be three cubic feet. So if you look at this in reality, there's one, two, three, four, five, almost six cubic feet in, inside of here. And uh, I did that with two bags mixed with uh, regular native soil. But the reason for that is when they call that three cubic feet, it's actually compressed in, the, in those packages. So if you measure the package, it's three cubic feet. But when you break it open and, and uh, break up all of the uh, compressed unit, you fill a large area with it. So that's a great deal. Two bags for $14 at Home Depot. Uh, so you might want to run over there and grab some because it was going fast. Uh, I might even go back tomorrow and grab a few more bags because it's such a great deal. I don't need any more in here. I've got everything already um, set up and planted as it's going to be. And I don't really have any place to add anything, but I was thinking I'm going to do my hanging plants in here. I've got these baskets hanging and I've got some um, burlap to go in there and then put some of the garden soil in there and I get some plants going in those. So I may go back and get another two for another $14. And I hope the sale is still on through the weekend. I think it probably is. It probably will end on Monday morning. All right. Anyway, um, with that going, uh, my garlic is looking good here. And uh, I'm going to bring my little plate here back inside. And this is the uh, garden soil I was talking about. Uh, this is by Kellogg's. Uh, all natural garden soil, great stuff. It's got all the nutrients and the fertilizers, everything already inside of it. And as you see right down there, it says three cubic feet. And it is OMRI listed. That's a good thing. You want, you want to see that label on whatever you do with your gardening. Let's go natural people. No more of this genetically mo modified stuff. My um, avocado here, grew another half inch overnight. So I think it likes being in there and uh, it's doing a great job. It's uh, almost eight inches tall right now. And that's about all for in here. My corn, I gave it all some of that uh, um, organic uh, stuff. I, I didn't get that one watered in enough right there, but I'll do that. But boy, they all just pop back to life looking good. All well, except for that one, I think that one's a, lo a loss, but everything else just popped right back up again and 
it's liking that stuff so so far for the preliminaries it's looking good all right i also got some more connectors here for my overhead watering system because apparently the wind always comes from that direction so everything gets blown over to this side and that side of the garden doesn't get watered so i made up these little units and i got a long extension going over to the side where the um, wind comes from so that I can get the water over there and then I got the one on this side down lower so that the wind doesn't blow it too far away. So I've got uh, uh, four of those will go up there and I'll take the uh, those four um, sprinkler heads down. I'll use those over there when I do the second uh, part. I started telling you the other day what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another one of these valves and I'm going to put it up about this high and then I'm going to cut this open and put a T in there and then I'm going to T across and I'll go one over there and one over there and then a couple of drippers over the tops of the trees. So all I have to do when I'm ready is just shut off that one that goes to the main sprinkler here and it'll send everything over to the side sprinklers and water everything along that side. So I can be, be able to water things very quickly. I'm also planning on putting a 250 gallon tank, as I said, right out here. So I'll have plenty of um, water out here. And that'll be mostly uh, rainwater storage. But I'm all still going to keep my 60 gallon barrel out here and my 20 gallon barrels out there. That's for 80 gallons there. So I've got 140 out here now, but uh, having another 250 That'll mean less water transfers for me. All right, so let's head on up. And uh, yeah, I got my hose coiled. I want to show you this. Little buggers, they chew through my hose. They only do that on the plastic hoses. They won't do it on the uh, rubber hoses. Like this one over here that we're about to cross is a rubber hose and they won't chew through that. They only chew through the uh, plastic ones. Yeah, I remember an old story where somebody once said that uh, plastic is only uh, one molecule away from uh, margarine. That's why I don't eat margarine. All right, so here on the trailer, I have some lumber. And all of this and, and the concrete is the start for um, extending my water capacity up at my water tank. And that's tomorrow's project, so stay tuned. Be ready for that. The girls... I've, I've been feeding them greens that I get from my friend. Uh, his garden's gone to seed, so he's been giving me all the greens for him. And then I, I noticed that a uh, couple of their eggs had really super thin shells. And uh, did a little research on that, found out that that's caused by a, cal a lack of calcium. But uh, some of the greens my friend gave me are shard. And shard um, is not good for helping them maintain calcium. So I've got to take them, take them off the shard greens and move them onto some different greens that are good for them, like peppermint and things like that. And uh, we'll get them back to laying some be better eggs. Summer's coming in now. Um, they need to get out and do some more uh, free ranging. There's no green out here for them to free range on. Although a couple of the trees like these and going all the way over on that straight line I always talked about going over to my um pond area yeah, i think there's an underground stream or river under here because look at the flowers on this thing let me zoom in on that i mean there's a lot of flowers on these trees coming right down the center here so that's about all g bear reminding you give me a thumbs up down there i'd appreciate that uh, it does help out a lot don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And to all you new subscribers and you're leaving your comments today, welcome aboard. I'm, I really like you people. I love your questions. I love everything that's going on about it. And uh, we're going to have some fun this year. G-Bear, signing off.